Mayor Pro Tem uh, Archuleta, and then Randy McMillan. We have a, up to four minutes. And My name again is Randy McMillan, and uh, I sat on the board for low-income housing uh, in MFA for five years. Um, and I watched project after project come across our desk. Um, and I, uh, I was asked uh, by our current governor to step down because I shone the light of day on what we were spending per unit on those projects. Uh, one, of a, one of which was uh, Pecos Street that we did here. I don't know if you know it, but we spent $190,000 a unit there for a 300 square foot efficiency apartment. And it wasn't a new build, it was a rehab, a remodel for what a, yeah, $190,000 per unit, almost $400 a square foot. I was angry about that. I'm a commercial real estate broker. I build things like this. I know what they cost. They don't cost anywhere near that. I looked at what the developer was making. I looked at what the contractor was making. I looked at what the so-called nonprofit was making, and it was unbelievable. I have stayed here because I want to support this project, this project. I saw project after project come across our desk up there and Rose's project were continually reasonable. She was building three bedroom homes with two car garages that people would own for less than we spent on the Pecos Street efficiency apartments. That is a fact, check me out. And that's why I'm no longer on that board. I was asked to step down by our current governor because they didn't want people knowing that fact. Rose does an amazing job. She's building 50 houses in Barino right now. Um, all of the people that own those homes will spend about a thousand hours developing and uh, building their house. And some of those homes are 10 and 12 years old that they did before this current subdivision. And if you drive those streets, you could eat off of them. Their landscaping is nice. Everything is nice. And you know why? is because we didn't give it to them. They worked for it. Every one of those homeowners spent time and effort in those homes, and they care about them. They cost two thirds of what we're spending for apartments, and they, after 10 years, they're in great shape. So Rose, thank you. Uh, I've watched you over the years and what you've done in our community and on that board and uh, you truly do care. And she truly is a nonprofit that cares. So thank you.